From CNY Central, this is Today in Central New York. Well, in the winter, we have lots of whites and grays, but uh, Carol has brought us in some real color to brighten up your house. Nice to see Thanks, you. Thanks, Laura. Um, yeah, we, you need this kind of... Uh, we do. I mean, we talked about how houseplants help us breathe better, and they take some toxins out of the air, but these also give us an emotional boost. Yeah, sure. And that's a proven research. Um, so they um, not only actually have some great bloom, but they have some very colorful foliage yeah. too. So. Let's start with the begonias because they're kind of a staple of indoor mm -hmm. flowers. Um, and uh, these are, you know, they're not huge plants. They're they're really pretty. Right, and, and the flower isn't huge, but it's pretty along with the contrast of the leaf. And there's another begonia in front of this yep. one. And that one's got a real nice leaf this one, too. Yep. Uh -huh. And that's tiger kitten. Okay. And then we'll jump over here to another begonia. And that that's just so sweet. That's really dainty. Yeah. yeah. And it, yeah. it just the foliage, the way it kind of cascades. And this is also a begonia. Yeah, and the leaves on this one almost look like little maple leaves. Yes. You can hold it up yep. so you can actually see it. Um, kind of pretty. And you know, think of these as centerpieces at a dining table, maybe, mm -hmm. or something like that. It'll just brighten you right up. Some place you'll see when you get up in the morning exactly. and thinking, oh, it's another gray day. Yeah, but uh, let's talk about what you're holding because uh, you can find some kind of strange looking flowers on some plants. Are those actually the flowers, Carol? It is. And okay. this is called Bela Perone, or actually, um, common name shrimp plant. Okay. So you can see where you get that from. Yeah, yeah. Um, it it's not like... a, a robust growing plant. Yeah. But, you know, if you put it in a group with something else, okay. you know, the, the kind flower. Of the background. Yeah, yeah, the flower is fun. Yeah. And um, these are always favorites of mine because they're so bright at this time of year, cyclamen. Right. Um, and if you're real lucky, you get fragrant ones, too. Um, they're, they're, as long as you don't overwater the tops, they're right. fairly easy yeah. keepers, and you'll right? you'll see that the, the Look at the blooms. buds on this. The buds yeah. are coming from inside. That's yeah. why you don't want to water it here. Yeah, you put it in a saucer and fill up the saucer and let it suck it up. Let's talk about oxalis because that's a St. Patrick's flower for yes, a lot of people. Yeah, good timing for that. We yep. have two of them, Laura. We yep. have this chartreuse leaf uh -huh. with a bright yellow blossom. Uh -huh. And then we have the dark leaf with the bright yellow blossom. Okay. Both of them are, are nice um, indoor plants. And they're perennials, so uh, they, they keep going right through the year. And yeah, just keep yeah. them cool and uh, yeah. evenly moist. There and you they'll go. be happy in the house. Okay, Carol, thanks for the ideas. Sure. Thanks for brightening up our Saturday morning. Carol's Greenhouse is down in Lafayette. You're welcome to visit. There's her website for more ideas as well. We'll be right back.